What's up you guys? It's your girl D aka Destiny and welcome to my channel Dynamic D where you can find all things me. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you all for all the support on my last video. I surpassed every goal that I had for that video and I was just so overwhelmed with gratefulness that y'all are really supporting me. And as you can tell by the title, honey, we doing a story time and I'm going to be telling y'all about the day I found out I was ugly. Whew, my very first rejection. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into this. So this happened in the fourth grade. Yes, the fourth grade. Um, We were on the playground and my friends that I normally play with, I guess they weren't at school that day. So I just went in the gazebo with all the rest of the girls. I went to Crestview Elementary, right? So... When I was in school, the gazebo closest to the parking lot was the girls' gazebo, and then there was another one on the other side that was the boys' gazebo. So I went in the gazebo with all the rest of the girls, and somehow the conversation got to who everybody liked, and we were kind of just going in the circle, like, saying who we liked, and then just go to the next person, right? By the time it got to me, there were a lot of people already taken, and I didn't have anybody that I liked that I could say but I wanted to participate in the game so I just said one of my friends um me and him were we were cool or what well sh ch I, I thought we was cool or whatever so when it got to my turn I just said his name right and why I do that soon as I said his name it was like the whole gazebo went crazy everybody was like oh you like him for real him really oh my god they knew he was out of my league child so i was like oh what i just do i was i was nervous a little bit because this didn't happen when everybody else went and then um i ain't gonna say her name let me give her a name we're gonna call her banana banana was like we should tell him you should tell him like you should you should tell him that you like him you should tell him and i was like um <laughs> i'm not gonna tell him I'm not going to tell him. And she was like, well, we'll tell him. All of us will go tell him. We'll tell him. Do you care if we tell him? We're going to tell him. Let's tell him. She was really going in on the fact that I need to tell this boy I like him. Nobody else had to tell their person who they like. So I didn't understand why it was me, but I was still trying to play it cool. So I was just like, um, I mean, I guess. And as soon as I said that, y'all... As soon as I said, I get banana spotted him out. He was way across the playground. I don't know how she saw this man. He was across the playground on the little track on the far side of the track. And she was like, there he go right there. Let's all go tell him. Let's all go. Boom. Every girl in the gazebo got up and shot across the playground to go tell this man I liked him. And I was like, dang, I don't even like him. I didn't even like him for real. I just wanted to participate. Like we were just friends. Like we were cool. But as soon as everybody else took out the running, I didn't know what to do. So I guess I just like ran behind everybody else. Ring little banana. She get to him first. Soon as she get over there, he was like standing with a group of his friends. So it's like him and two, three other boys. And she get all of his face like, Destiny like you, Destiny like you. She want to be with you. And y'all, his response has traumatized me for life. I'm not playing. I can't even make the face that he made, but I'm going to try my best so y'all can really understand what I went through at this moment. So, uh, she, Banana, is standing right here, and dude that I said I like was standing right here, and I'm like right here. As soon as she's like, Destiny like you, Destiny like you, she want to be with you, this man's face, he said, and he held it for so long it was like he he felt so disgusted in his soul it was so embarrassing now he realized that i was standing like beside him or whatever so he turns to me and starts going off started just insulted me in every way that he could he was like you black you ugly you this you that you blah, blah like he just kept on going kept on going kept on going by the third insult i couldn't even hear what he was saying anymore i was so shook i was stuck i was like 
like could not believe this was happening mind you the whole gazebo of girls plus his friends was surrounding us in a circle like it's us three in the middle of the circle everybody else surrounding us it's like 20 25 people all 25 of them are laughing at me while he's telling me to my face how ugly i am <laughs> It was so, oh my God, I can't even explain it to the depths of how traumatizing it was in that moment. And Banana, she knew what she was doing because while he's going off on me, she's standing beside him laughing in my face. And she had one of those extra laughs where she just had to do the most. And so she's standing beside him and she's laughing in my face like, ah, ha, 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 all of that. She, she knew what she was doing. She did. I'm, I feel like that Mr. Krabs meme where he's like looking around and disoriented and this blurry, he's like, that's how I felt. That's how I felt. And I was just stuck, like just stuck. And he he kept going the entire time that I was standing there. Kept insulting me and just coming up with more and more and more and more and more stuff to call me. And I felt a single tear come down my eyes. And when I felt that tear come, that's when I finally had the strength to run away, child. I ran all the way to the other side of the playground where the swings were to the very last swing. And when I got over there, I was a little tired, so I had to catch my breath. I put my arm on the little, on the bar, and I was just like, Just letting the tears come. I was crying so hard. I was crying so hard. <laughs> and I couldn't see because of the tears. So I went to sit down in the swing and I fell straight through it, y'all. I fell straight through the swing. I couldn't see that it was broke <laughs> before I sat down. And so all the other kids on the swing that was like beside it or whatever, they saw me fall through the swing and they were laughing at me too. At this point, the entire playground <laughs> was laughing at me. I was so heartbroken. And like, my thing was, you could have just said, no, thank you. You could have just said, no, thank you. That would have been fine. So I didn't like you anyway. I was just trying to play the game and then they twisted it on me. Literally, his response is the reason why I don't shoot my shot now. This happened in the fourth grade. I'm 21 years, I'm 21 years old and I still have not shot my shot with another person <laughs> ever again. If I like somebody now, I will just try my hardest to manifest the moment where you come talk to me. <laughs> I am not shooting my shot at all. If I like you, I'm going to be like, God, just let him dream about me tonight so he can come talk to me tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be like, Lord, just sprinkle a little bit of me on his mind tonight. Just just sprinkle his thoughts with my name so he will come talk to me. I might throw a little teeny, tiny, 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 tiny little hint. And if you don't catch it, you don't catch it. And it, it be working too. I'm not going to lie. It do be working. But if it don't work... I just get over you, honey, because I'm not shooting my shot. Me? Shoot my shot? No. That's why I was sorry at basketball, just out there playing defense, getting tired, because I ain't shooting no. No, I don't shoot no shots. You can have that. No, sir. Like, you had to do all that? All of that? Because it's one thing, y'all. It's one thing to get rejected, but when you just have to straight out come to the realization that you're just not pretty at all that's a whole nother level <laughs> seriously a whole nother level because prior to this day i thought i was pretty cute you know that's when people would always come up to me and my mom and be like oh she she's your twin y'all are so pretty you and your mom you and your mom y'all look just alike so you know i'm thinking that it's me and my mom that's cute whole time it was just my mom she was cute and i wasn't that's <laughs> y'all don't understand how hurt i was because i'm out here thinking you know i'm like a pair of joints or something and whole time dude come through like no ma'am 
you're not even the one dollar flip flops at Dollar General. Bring it down. Bring it down. Like, oh, I felt so ugly after that. I never, I, it took me years to feel pretty again. And <laughs> that day, that day when I came home, I guess we didn't have any homework that day. So I came in my room and I like turned the TV on and it was on one of them channels that just play a bunch of music videos or whatever, or like performances. As soon as I turned the TV on, it was Aaliyah singing, <laughs> pick yourself up and try again. Y'all, <laughs> the song is meant to be encouraging, but it made me so mad. <laughs> it made me so mad because she on the TV with her little dance moves. Pick yourself up and try again, try again. Oh, and all of that. And I'm just looking at the TV like. And I started going off. <laughs> I started going off. I was like, now why would I do that? You see how that man disrespected me to my face? He had the whole school laughing at me. Why would I do that? If he ain't like me today, he ain't gonna like me tomorrow. I started going off, y'all. Do you know how hurt your feelings gotta be for you to come home and talk bad to a dead lady through a TV screen? That's next level hurt next level i'm telling you it was so bad and then you know everybody saw what happened so it's like rumors going around the school or whatever and i found out that the reason why he didn't like me was because i was dark skin y'all i'm not even that dark and he was darker than me but this was during the time where um the dark skin versus light skin beef was heavy and he was team light skin or whatever and so he didn't like me because I was dark. I feel like every dark skinned girl kind of got a story like that where you realize people didn't like you because you was dark. If you do, if you know what I'm talking about, put it down in the comedy. But anyways, um, that next week though, that next week I got my revenge. I thought we were cool because we would play together outside of school. My mom, who's a hairstylist, used to do his mom's hair, right? So. Um, she would bring him to the salon with her when she got her hair done. We would play together. Like, we was real cool. So, that next week, his mama came to get her hair done. And she brought him. And I saw them walk in. And I was like, him again. And his mama walked up to me. <laughs> his mama walked up to me and spoke like, hey, Destiny. She was all excited. And I tried to act like I didn't hear this lady. Because in my mind, I'm like, why is this lady talking to me after she raised her son like that? Ooh, why is she talking to me? Because I know he learned that disrespect from you. He ain't get that out of nowhere. He disrespectful because you disrespect her all like you either stop talking to me. So I was trying to act like I didn't hear her. But I guess she didn't know. She didn't catch on to the fact that I was ignoring her. She thought I didn't hear her for real. So she spoke again. And I was like, hey. Because, you know, my parents didn't teach me to be disrespectful to my elders. I ain't want to speak to this lady, but I spoke back anyway. So he come up and he come up to me trying to play. Trying to act like we cool. I looked at him dead in his face and I said, ugh. And then I went up to my mama and I was like, my mama, I'm finna go take a nap in the back. So I go to the back office and... Girl, I ain't taking no nap back there. I was back there turn, having a good grand old time with my little toys. Having a wonderful time. But every now and then, I like crack the dough just a little bit and peek out to see what he was doing. Because even though I didn't want to play with him, I still wanted to make sure he wasn't having a good time. Like, I wanted him to not have fun. <laughs> so, so every now and then, I just peek outside the door just a little bit and see what he was doing and y'all he was so bored the whole time he was just sitting in the waiting room chair like just making faces and just sitting there and then he'll change position just like just sitting there having an awful time and i was so happy i was so happy because <laughs> that's what you get that is what you get. You don't get to embarrass me in front of the whole school and then come play with me in private like we cool. No, sir. That's not what we doing. So after that day, I felt like I won. <laughs> I felt like I won. But in hindsight, looking back, what he did to me, 
it was way worse because this man embarrassed me in front of the whole school. What I did to him was just like a minor inconvenience. So I didn't really win, but I felt like it at the time. So that's all that matters. But anyway, make sure that you comment your favorite part of the story down below and let me know what other content you want to see from me because I'm not just doing story times. I will not be giving y'all my most embarrassing stories all the time. And share, share, share this video. I know you know somebody who will laugh at this. So make sure you send this video to them and have them check out my channel, child. Don't be selfish. We, we love everybody over here. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, obviously you love it here sis you loving it sir so you might as well hit that subscribe button leave a like and a comment and i will see you in the next one period